<laughs> Here we go for our second session. Ready to start? Ready. All right, okay. So this is the Razorback right here behind you. Indeed. <laughs> so uh, we're here, what? Founders Hall? Founders Hall. So we're just gonna take a little residence hall tour, I'll show you some key points inside, and um, then we'll take you into a couple of different rooms. Sounds right. great. Tell us, about, tell us a little bit about yourself, Abby. Well, my name is Abby. Uh -huh. I'm a senior here at the university. My major is advertising and public public relations. Mm -hmm. Talk twister. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's about me. Sure. And you've lived previously where? I've lived in Yoakum. My freshman year is okay. where I was. Which is so, over yonder, yeah. right? Okay, over yonder. Two buildings down. Okay, okay. In the neighborhood. As long as we're here, let me point out, of course, the Razorback that we've got right there. And then over here, we've got the Greek Theater. You might see Old Main like way far over there. Um, and I was gonna, we were gonna ask you a question too of the group that's here, if you don't mind, about uh, which should be the official Pokemon oh, of the, the University Pokemon. of Arkansas. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. You got those ones over there? Yeah. So we can test them out, see which one we like better. Okay, so we got Tepig and Swine Up. Yeah. So if you're watching this and you have a thought on which should be the official one, let us know. Because we know. The, the emoji, there is an emoji that gets used a lot for the Razorbacks. It's sort of a hog and standard, but we don't have one yet for like a Pokemon officially. <laughs> we, um, and, and it's interesting, we've been walking around here, haven't we? I haven't been seeing people lifting up their phones and finding them. Yeah? Right there. <laughs> you know, doing all kinds of different things. So um, let's go ahead and head in slowly to Founders and get going. Okay. You want to bring this up with you? Uh, sure. Yeah, would you mind watching that? Yep. Okay, let's head on down. Right so me. this right here, yeah, yeah Slim Chickens. Mm -hmm. It's the most, one of the most popular restaurants. Have you campus. been there before? I have, it's pretty good. What do they have there? Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> good Lots deal, chicken. excuse us. Starbucks is right next door. Are y'all playing Pokemon Go by any chance? Yes, yes. we are. What level? Uh, right now, I think I'm level seven. Five. Nice, nice. Well, good luck. Are there a lot of them around here? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> That's hilarious. Which which one of these do you think should be the official University of Arkansas Pokemon? The, yeah. Which one? Tepig. Tepig. Yeah. Tepig. Yeah, just because it's big. Mm. That makes sense. That makes sense. Big. Hey, thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it. I'm doing a, a live broadcast. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. So, thanks. <laughs> All right. So we're walking. Over here is Kimple, right? Yes. Yeah, Kimple Hall. Uh-huh. We've got a lot of humanities stuff that happens there. Uh, journalism, yep, your major journalism. is right there. And then you'll have probably quite a few intro courses there too. There's one main um, lecture hall that's like seats mm -hmm. probably 100 people or so. Okay. A lot of intro classes. There are some restaurants here. Is right over. Grill, Papa Let's see, this is Papa John's right here. Papa John's is being replaced by Rocket Taco. Rocket Taco. Rocket Taco. Well, Mexican vibe. Or something like that, yeah. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let me get you back in the... There you are. <laughs> there you are. Smiling and walking with us. A little bit further down, you were going to have uh, the business building. So you have a lot of intro classes there, too. So yeah. the Founders is like right in the middle of campus for a lot of the freshmen. Sure, and there's the title right there. As a matter of fact, I was looking at the numbers on uh, Founders, and it's the largest percentage of business. Really? Is business. It's like 45, 43 percent. You can check the Res Hall fact book. We, yeah. we can see exactly. So let's head on inside. Let me take one look outside real quick just to get a 360 here. So you are literally across the street from Kimple if you're here, and then Walton is very, very close as well. Connected to Bruff Dining Hall. Connected to Bruff Dining Hall. They call it. It's like Founders Dining Hall and Bruff mm -hmm. Dining Hall. So you can walk around the corner and you're there. Nice. Hey, um, does anybody have any questions or anything as long as we're going? We're happy to take them. Just comment down below and we'll be happy to take your questions. So what that was is we went through the FOB system. Who FOBed us in? Okay. Uh, I FOB in. <laughs> okay, thank you. Because someone has to have a FOB in order for us to get in. Yep. And uh, here we are. On a personal note, <laughs> at the front desk here we have Jeff, who's working for us over the summer. Yes, yes. And then, um, of course, uh, you guys know each other, right? Yeah. How do you know each other? This is my fiance. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, congratulations. When's Thank the day? You. December 17th. 
December 17th, coming right up. Yeah. Okay. It's just coincidence that you guys are working, both working for mm -hmm. us this, uh, <laughs> this summer. Anyway, so let's go and talk about, I guess, the things the inside here. Yeah, let's go see the kitchen. So right when you walk in, you've got a pretty big, really nice kitchen. Mm -hmm. I like this table, too. Yeah, it's a, it's a big, big, full table. Nice picnic table there for yeah. family dinners. Nice granite countertop island. There's a fridge and a sink. So, mm -hmm. so they just suggest putting your food in here. Make sure it's labeled. Labeled if you put it in there. Okay. Otherwise, it's up for grabs. Good to know. I uh, Founders is actually our most recent addition to it housing. 2013. 2013. Early new. And earlier we looked at Gibson, which was our oldest building that's still used now for. Um, yeah. Great. So it's a full kitchen. Um, I, th I hear that the uh, microwave gets used a lot. Wouldn't surprise me. For popcorn. <laughs> So, uh, what about mail? Jeff, do you know about mail here? Where do they get their mail here? Mail is at Humphreys. Mail comes in through Humphreys. For yes. Founders? Okay. For founders and I think another dorm, I'm not sure, but I know okay. for founders, your mail is going to be at Humphreys. Which is just right, just right across right, the so. way. Okay, fantastic. Um, let's see, we want to go check out what? Ready to walk down this way? Yeah, wait, was laundry down that way? Yeah, laundry's down here, we've got okay. a ping pong table down here. Oh yeah. And there's some pretty intense ping pong tournaments that happen. I've, I've heard, <laughs> I've heard that it's uh, rarely an open table during the school year because people yes. are playing. It's always, always packed. Now we don't see the digital signage here, but there is a lot of digital signage throughout the hall. This is the one, one of the halls where we uh, don't use postering. We use digital images to yes. tell what's going on. Here's the laundry room. Aloha. Oh, this is it there? Leftover from a <laughs> Probably. I'm not sure if it's. Can we get in there? Yeah. Great. Okay, let's head into the laundry room. So here you'll see a lot of brand new washers and dryers. There's also a couple of vending machines and an ice machine. Mm -hmm. This is all on the first floor. Yes. I thought you can... Oh, it takes Apple Pay, doesn't it? Something like that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, so, what can you tell us about the laundry? So, actually starting in the fall, we're going to have a little service called Laundry Alert. Mm -hmm. And, I'm not sure what box. <laughs> we're going to have a service called Laundry Alert, and that is just, you'll pull it up on your phone, and it can tell you which washers and dryers are open and mm -hmm. alert you via email or text when your laundry is done. So it's a really nice way, you don't have to sit down in the room waiting for hours for your laundry to be done. You can go up and get your homework done and things like that. Go do it in between classes. It's a great way to get your laundry done and make sure you know when it's finished so you don't wait for someone else to come pick it up. Yeah, and laundry here is free. It's part of the student fees. So you don't pay anything extra. There's no coinage intake for any of it. Um, we also emphasize that if you do notice a problem, then you can scan it right there and let them know that something is wrong. Okay. Ready to move on? Let's move on. Are we headed upstairs? I think so. Was there anything else in the first floor we wanted to be sure we talked about and covered? One of the main, other main attractions is actually on this side. There's lots of students who have movie nights. Oh, okay. So there's a pretty nice TV right there, and yeah. they'll pop in a movie and I'll huddle around with their popcorn. One could certainly watch some <laughs> Game of Thrones or some, uh, uh, what's the zombie one that I like so much? Walking Dead. Walking Dead, yeah. Oh, we do get free HBO along with the uh, cable service. Here. Oh, right, so free HBO, that's always nice. Okay. And we're moving to a digital cable system this next year, too, so that's kind of a cool thing. All right. Here we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, we were going to look at the uh, oh, elevator, yep. yeah, elevator, and we're going to look at the study rooms on the other floors. Yes. So has anybody uh, got any thoughts who's listening to us and watching? Anything we can cover for you? Give you some information? No? Okay. Not yet. we got 20 people watching. Wow. Maybe once we get to the rooms. I bet that's when it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Got to figure out how to decorate. It's important. It is. Hey, I saw those, uh, some, where they push it and it goes like, and it shows me the like icon, so that's nice. Oh, there you go. 
This is only the second time we've ever done this kind of thing, so it's interesting for us. So we can look at one of the study rooms down here. Yeah, want. let's look at the study rooms and then we'll finish up by looking at one of the uh, one of the room rooms. We've got a couple rooms open, I believe, right? <laughs> we can. Kent, Laura said to go back to work. <laughs> okay, so this is one of the study rooms. Yeah. These are on each of the floors, correct? There's a cup, is it three or two on each floor? Um, There's at least two, I know that, on each floor. There's two on this floor, and I think the longer floors have, have three. three. Sure, so, so it's a study got, nook. Yeah, there's a nice lounge area. These chairs have built-in desks that swivel, mm -hmm. so that's a really nice feature. Yeah. Uh, there's a TV that gets cable as well. So sure. it's just a nice quiet place that you can come and get your homework done. I've come here frequently. <laughs> but you didn't live here. I didn't. I had friends that lived here. So, so you came here and studied anyway? I did. Nice. Just a little bit. Okay. Nicer. Quieter. So, what's that? Another mm -hmm. example of our digital signage. We've got right, on each floor. floor. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, what we put up there is stuff like posters of uh, events that are upcoming, mm -hmm. just what news. Would be a yeah, what would be a poster essentially. So, let's head into two different floors. And I guess one of the things we should talk about when we talk about, we'll go in 602 first. Oh, okay. um, one of the things we should talk about is the gabling. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. The gable rooms. They have um, they have some interesting architectural detail. They kind of come inward slightly. Yes. And uh, so let's look at this one real quick. Actually, let's yeah, let's go ahead and look at this one. So they're going to look a little bit different, but here is one of the rooms that we're going to check out. And what you're going to see is, of course, the desk area there. And a nightstand. Is there an LLC on floor three? Uh, Nita was asking. I know there's an LLC that's, that exists in here previously. I'm not but, sure what floor. So. Yeah, I'm not, we're not sure what floor, but we can check that out for you. One of the things, if you ask a question we don't know the answer to it, we'll definitely try to respond in the comments afterward and get you an answer. Yeah. Um, so we have our lofted mm -hmm. beds. Two dressers. Two dressers. Two closets. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the closets. Okay, they're kind of like, what is these, ship rooms or something? Yeah, and they're movable. All the furniture, furniture in here is movable. So mm -hmm. if you don't like where it's at, it's not a problem. So each student gets one of these. Got a full length mirror in there. And we'll go ahead and take some measurements when we get into the other room as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. And there's, of course, the desk and the bed. And the bed, some of y'all may know this already, but it can be lofted and can go up quite a number of. Uh, Points up. Only comes up halfway. I don't believe it lofts to a bunk. Well, no, no, it doesn't. But you can put stuff underneath. Right, right. Up to like I don't know. I want to say four feet. Do you want to do a measurement for us? Sure. It should be the same as the other one. Thirty-six inches. Thirty-six inches. Okay. Yes. So it seems like thirty-six inches is cons con consistently that mm -hmm. amount. Uh, Jennifer asks, are those the same beds that are in Maple? I they think, should be. I think they are, yeah. Um, our standard size, we're about to go into another uh, bedroom, is I believe uh, 80 inches on the on the beds. It says in that little cheat sheet right there. For length or width? For the length. So, let's see. We'll go into the other yeah, room here. Length, 36 width. What's up? 80 length. 80 length, 36 width. So we'll go on in here. Number two. Can the desk go under it? Let's, yes, let's see. It, can. it looks like, yeah. Underneath it right here, you can't really work underneath Right, it. it's more of a storage mm -hmm. setting, uh, Nita, than it is a. Uh... Well, okay, so here's something interesting. The mm -hmm. way I just figured this out. Okay. It can loft all the way up. You flip your frame upside down. Oh, right. They talk about flipping the, the frames. are now up top and not on the bottom. Right. So then you can go up much higher. Yeah. Now, this would be a room that is the most gabled, as yes. we call it, that there is. And, you know, it's something to be aware of because some of the rooms have a, have a pretty sloping... Why don't you put your hand up there? It shows it better. Like that. So they slope. Yeah. Got quite a bit of space back here too. Mm -hmm. You do. It's nice for storage. You can store your cleaning supplies and things like that back there. And um, of course, we have our sink here, which is always very nice to have. And that's fixed right there. Those details there are pretty fixed. Yeah. Um, and we've got what some storage mm -hmm. right here. 
I know a lot of people will put uh, their mini fridge under right here. Mm -hmm. mini put their fridge, mini fridge down yeah. there. It can also fit under your bed too if you loft that just high enough. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, Jennifer, I think the uh, the beds in maple stack to be raised higher. I think that's whenever you flip it. Yeah. That would probably be what that means. Uh, maple might even bunk all the way. Okay. Yeah, well, when we, when we go tour maple, I think it's next week. You can always check the schedule at movein.uart.edu. But when we go check it next, we'll, we'll be sure and, and try to note that. I did want to take a moment to point out the view as well, as long as we're here. Why don't we go out this way? So this is the end of the hallway. And, you know, it's a pretty fantastic view of um, Arkansas. You can see down there, um, you know, the Ozark Mountains in the distance. It's just a kind of a green, nice day. Um, let's see, is there anything else, as long as we're in here, that people would like for us to measure or uh, get you a little closer detail on? Chair comes out, I guess. And yeah. Same movable furniture. Uh, Nita, yes, they will be. I'm gonna uh, after we finish this video, I'm going to save it and post it on YouTube, and then um, I'm going to add it to the movein.uart.edu site. So we'll have a record of the tours that we're doing. Um, yeah, is there anything else anybody would like to ask about or uh, know about? Maybe we can talk about the bathrooms a little bit. All right, we should go see the bathrooms. Yeah. Are we allowed to? Well, here's a, here's a here's a request. Mm -hmm. um, measure from top of closet to ceiling for storage. Well, this room's kind of interesting because it's not consistent. Do you have the tape measure? Um, yeah, it's right here. Okay. So what we can get is this measurement between these two. Yeah. So forty inches. From forty here. inches from that ceiling. And that would probably be the least amount of space you have. Yeah, you no less here, than 40. There's more space, it just depends on where you put your right. uh, closet. But what about, most rooms are going to be this high. This high? Okay. Okay, so that's sort of, that roof detail right there, that's unusual. That's mm -hmm. that's yeah. only in these um, uh, gabled, gabled rooms. rooms. Okay. Um, Do we need any measurements? From would the there, inside? Nicole asks, would there be any space to use a rolling rack to hang clothes? That's a good question. You know, it depends on how tight you want it. Like, you could probably put one right here if you mm -hmm. wanted. Depends on what room you get. You could also probably fit one in between these two beds right here. Yeah. So it's, I'm sure you can make it work. I've seen a couple people do it before. Sure. Um, let's see. I'm not, I'm not quite sure, but I know last, the last couple of years, six floor has been a men's floor also. Mm -hmm. So, okay. um, I know there are gabled rooms on the fifth floor. But I'm not sure how many women are assigned to gabled rooms, just to be honest with you. So probably not very many people look at gabled rooms. And there is a huge window here, just so everyone's aware. Mirror? Yeah, I'm sorry. Window, <laughs> mirror. Huge mirror here. Hey, and Panos, hello to, from uh, uh, Fayetteville to Athens, Greece. Cool. Glad of you. Nice of you to join us. Uh, and Jennifer, yeah, tune in again when we do the maple, and we'll be happy to uh, get some more of those details for you. Okay. Well, we were going to look at the, the bathrooms. Yeah, yeah, let's go look at the bathrooms. Can you flip this light off right here? Yeah, sure. See, being very sustainable. Appreciate <laughs> that. Turn off the lights. We're going to close that door. Okay. We can catch that afterward. Two bathrooms. All right. So I think this is one... Oh, so it is a men's floor then. Okay, because this is a men's bathroom. Do you mind knocking just to make sure that we're not, that it's completely empty? Oops. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so this would be the men's, all the bathrooms are the same, it's just that, well, mostly the same. Um, but uh, this would be one of the bathrooms that we have. The showers are what a lot of people love. They say that there's so much, uh, there's so many showers that they never have to fight for it. Yeah. So they love the ratio between showers and residents. So that's a whole bay of one, two, three, four different showers right there. And, and in the shower, I think it's cool. I wish mm -hmm. Yoko would have had this, but 
you close the door, uh -huh. but you've also got your little dressing area and then the shower too. So oh, yeah. not all your stuff will get wet. Sure, sure. You so you have kind of a room in the front to get dressed? Yeah, you don't have to braid the hallway in your towels. <laughs> right. Uh, Nita, are you asking about hanging curtains in the in the room? For windows? I think so. So yeah, I would think you can probably hang curtains. You can. I took a look in there. While we're in there, it doesn't look like there's a place for a tension rod. Okay. If that's what she's trying to do. Oh, yeah, like a tension rod, sure. Yeah, so I'm not, unless you use command hooks, which is what I did. Step over into the study area and say, say goodbye. But yeah, nothing for tension hooks. Yeah, but you, a lot of people take command hooks, the big ones, and mm -hmm. put a tension rod on it. Okay. So it just depends on what you want to do. Sure, and that's probably something I can follow up and get an answer to. Um, great, well, unless there's anything else uh, people are curious about, then we'll finish this uh, tour of, of uh, founders. We appreciate you joining us, and we'll be doing more of these. And uh, uh, thank you, Abby, for doing it. Of course. Okay, bye-bye, everyone. Bye.